You got the chrome, you got the ice, you got the snowman with the red eyes. Build me up, break me down, never come around. You say I left, wasn't right, we'll just make it round. Speed it up, slow it down. So today we have a very special episode. We're gonna get my mask painted. It's a Warwick mask. We're gonna go in here and see Bob DeBrash. He has his own business and if you can believe it, in this little garage here. He paints a bunch of different really cool masks. We're gonna go watch him and kind of get a feel of his process and how he paints masks. And we're gonna check out the design that I picked out and we're gonna go through the process and see what exactly Bob has in store here in this little little garage here. So let's check it out. Bob, what's going on, man? How you doing? How you doing? Good to see you. Thanks how you been? Coming. Good. Appreciate you letting us come in and, and paint my mask and doing this for us. This is a cool little shop you got here. Yeah, that's where the magic happens, this right? This is where this all is the magic uh, happens. It's Very. humble, but you know, I think most of us guys, when uh, we paint masks, the joke is, is that we all paint in a dungeon. So, yeah. you know, it, it's, uh, it does a job. This is really wanna sh what I wanna show everybody at home is, is the process that it takes to make these masks. We all see these really cool designs and goaltending especially, it's a really big thing with all these goalies having different designs in their helmet and paint jobs and it really shows personality, but we've never really gone behind the scenes of someone that actually paints the mask. So kind of walk us through your shop a little bit. What, what do you have here and all your, um, what are the tools that you use to get these masks done or, or just kind of walk us through the shop and show everybody what you got here. This is where I do a lot of the, the mini spray guns, the bigger stuff when I paint, when I paint an entire mask, you know, I'll use my, one of my mini guns. I got a spray booth here that doesn't, it does a good enough job getting away a lot so of the fumes this is, and exhaust. So is this where you set the helmet and really get a first? <clears throat> yeah. So the helmet, so this is my stand right here. So the helmet will sit up on here. I'll spray it out real quick. It'll all gas out. I'll, I'll let it dry. And then when it's done, you know, I pretty much move it on there over there. That's where all the, the vinyl graphics, um, that's where the graphics get applied over there right. and painted. And then these are your airbrushes and stuff that you use to paint the, the mask. Yep, the those finer, are the tools. Finer details yep. and stuff. And then you have all your paints here. Do you use different kinds of paints on different sections of the mask if you're trying to get a certain, Sometimes, yeah, certain some, look for things? Yeah, you can you can mix up like both products. Yeah. You, know, you, you figure out how to make them work together. Um, so at the end of the day, the mask looks great. Nothing, you don't have any delamination issues you don't have paint peeling you don't have anything bubbling these are good for you know i do a, i like a, i like doing a lot of portraits and a lot of realism mm -hmm. so the illustration line is perfect for that yeah. um you know some of the masks that come out like my son's mask is it's very logo-y it's very clean crisp lines and, and very simple but some of the masks that i've done um you know there's you know face portraits animals um things like that where you know, like a Cujo design, you know, like Cujo's right. mask was always so cool and iconic. Yeah, with the dog but, and all that. But it was very, I guess, logo, cartoony kind right. of look, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Which is kind of how his is. Right. Um, I've done one where somebody came and uh, played for OU, they wanted a grizzly bear. Yeah. And instead of just doing a, a vectored grizzly bear, mm -hmm. we decided let's go real. Yeah. Which I was like, you know, right. that's exactly how I like to paint. I really want to make people happy. That's what they come to you for. They want to, they, they have this vision in their head. Right. And they look at you as an artist to, to ex right. execute it and bring it so to they come life. To the, yeah, they come to the artist because they want the art, you know, it's like, I can kind of picture it in my head, but I, I can't, you know, it's my job to put it on the computer, on paper, on some sort of 2D right. drawing. Mm -hmm. And they can see it and they go, oh, and that's why it's, that's why this is so awesome. Is One of my first masks I ever did was for, uh, the girl was maybe 10 or 11, I think. And uh, it was one of my first mask jobs I did professionally. And, uh, same thing. I, you know, I called the parent after they, after we delivered it, and, and asked us, you know, how does she like it? And so she's, it was in bed with her last night on the yeah. pillow next to her. So let's check out my mask real quick. So we'll, we'll go from, I guess, the starting point, And this is, this is not what my mask looked like when I brought it in. Take us through the, I guess, the process. What exactly do you do from here to get it ready to go and start laying the design and the paintwork and and stuff like that? So it'll go up here. It'll be base coated white. And then once that's done and it's cured, you can just set it right here. Right? That that's all move. Yep. Do. do one of those. That stand will move over here uh, to this side over here, and that's when I start airbrushing. I, I apply vinyl graphics. I might tape out a mask with some of my tapes that I have back here. Mm -hmm. I might hand draw a design if I need to. This is this is something that I already designed for his mask um, on Illustrator. So what I'll do is, you know, this will get cut out on vinyl, whatever size I want it you know, however I want it on the mask. 
it'll cut out here. I'll take it over there, transfer tape it, peel it up, and then lay it on the mask, nice and neat. And that'll be ready to go. And then I do my next graphic or whatever that's gonna be on there. Right. And then, you know, and then you start painting. What I'm gonna have is we, we got the logo going down the side here. Mm -hmm. And then my last name is Ice, so I really wanted something uh, on the theme of that. So I got some evil snowmans uh, on either side of the mask here to kind of with, with some goalie stuff on them and uh, some red eyes. And I think it was a cool way to incorporate the last name yep. with the, a lot of frozen theme and chromes and blues and stuff. So I'm super excited to see yeah, what, we got what some, it turns out too. Yeah, we got some pretty cool things that we're gonna do. So now I'm on to this point here where I'm gonna start kind of systematically just kind of peeling. The idea for me, the way I paint, I paint from the back to the front. Here I'm just gonna drop a little shadow because this is basically gonna be a the snowman's head is wearing a goalie mask. His face is underneath obviously, so I wanna drop a little shadows in here. Um, just make sure everything's spraying correctly. An evil looking snowman. So now you can see how, you know, how it looks like it's off, off of the snowman's head. Now with the goalie mask, I'll go in here and I'll just drop some shadows and stuff like that just to give it some depth so it doesn't look so white. This is like my childhood dream being lived out right now. This is awesome. This has turned out really well. Right now I'm gonna do the background here. I just saw this navy, this uh -huh. dark color of the logo. I'm gonna do that in here. I gotta mask all this off. Yeah, yeah. And you know, and then hit it with the did with the see, navy. Did you see those eyes right there? Those red eyes? Get don't you get a shot of those eyes right there? Woo! Oh man. Let's see if we can get them to reflect a little bit for those pop. I love the blue with the silver and the and the chrome. I think that's gonna look really good. It's crazy to imagine the last time we were here, the helmet was just painted white and glossed over and now to see it like this, it's hard to, me and Bob were talking earlier, um, having this on the computer screen and then seeing what it's like on the helmet, it's a completely different experience. Um, seeing it kind of conceptualized come together, it's, it's pretty cool to see when it's actually on the helmet. It looks cool, it's flat, it's 2D though. So it doesn't really, you right. don't get all the shadows and the highlights from the light hitting it, you know? Right. And you know, you don't, it, it just gives it more depth, you mm -hmm. know? You're not really gonna do that on a, on a rendering. You right, know? exactly. I'm not, like I try to do the, I try to do a nice rendering for customers that try to, you know, they, that they, they can get an idea. Yeah, yeah, it looks good, it looks good. It's perfect size, it's where I want it. Mm -hmm. But it's not something you're necessarily gonna hang above your uh, fireplace and a mantle, you know, and you're gonna frame it. You might. Mm -hmm. but, um, that's not the idea. Unbelievable, look at this. You got the chrome, you got the ice, you got the snowman with the red eyes. Wow, it looks unbelievable. Thank you so much. This is everything I've always wanted in a goalie helmet and it's just, it came to life, it came out so cool. Let me yeah. see, what, let's show everybody what it looks like with the mask too. That's gonna look really cool. That's awesome. Going from this on the screen to this, it came out, it's so much different seeing it live in person like that, especially with that white on that mask, it's gonna look really cool. Unique character and it, it, it was all based off of, a, off of a Turco kind of style design with his favorite goalie where he had the gargoyles up here and we said, okay, we're not gonna do gargoyles, but we'll do something cool and we came up with the snowman and we just evolved the, the, the concept into this and now it's unique to him. That's his snowman, nobody else has it. That's the, uh, that's the EGD snowman. I love it, I love it. Thank you so much, Bob. I really appreciate no you doing this for me. What's the best way for people to contact you to, to get helmets? I know <clears> social <throat> media and Instagram is a big thing. You can check out his helmets, but what's the best way to get a hold of you if someone wanted to get their mask painted? Best way to get a hold of me is through Instagram, uh, Detroit underscore air. Uh, you can DM me there. Um, and just kind of start the ball rolling that way. I encourage everybody to go check out his work on his Instagram. It's obviously he does a fantastic job. So everybody go check it out. If you need your mask painted, contact Bob. He's the man. So yeah. thank you again. Yeah, buddy. I appreciate it. Thank yeah. you so much. Thank you. Build me up, break me down, never come around. You say I left, wasn't right. We'll just make it round. Speed it up, slow it down, crash into the ground. Always lost, never
never found Still you wear the crown 